Hey everyone, it's Julie at the Paper Bag Lady One. So it's Friday and I got a haircut on Wednesday. And that was two days ago. And I haven't had time to film a video till now. My goodness, my life feels chaotic and it's not like I feel like I've really accomplished anything. <laughs> during that chaos period however anyway i of course went to my little thrift store and filled up my dollar bag that i got at the dollar tree and i wish they had more because i only have five and i don't know why i only bought five because they're like the best bag ever anyway um although i was somewhere and they didn't like my bag it was red the red one with the white polka dots and they were kind of horrified by my bag it was a person that i knew i think anyway that has nothing to do with anything Let's see what's in the bag of goodness. Here, let's put the camera down. You can see that I was shopping it Tuesday morning. Hmm. Shh, don't tell. Anyway, so in my bag, we have this fabric, which is quite thin and soft. And um, I don't know what it is. But it looked like it would be nice to maybe stamp on or coffee dye or rip into pieces. But anyway, it was $2.50 for this big hold hunk, which is 56 inches by 104 inches. So, you know, I had to have it because I don't have anything like that. Ha! <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so, then we got a Sesame Street book. Now, I will explain to you why I bought a Sesame Street book because I know full well I cannot make albums with this sort of thing and then sell it. But my daughter is a dancer. And this year for the company number at the beginning of the the recital it is done to a like it's the sesame street music but it's kind of like a techno sesame street i'm i can't i don't know how to explain it except that that's what she calls it techno sesame street and really the music kind of annoys me if i had to listen to it a lot over and over again i'd probably get really cranky but anyway the level five dancers my daughter's a level four dancer the level five dancers are dressing up like the different sesame street characters and the one level five dancer is also in my dance class and her name is Megan and she is going to be Elmo. And Megan has a little boy named Elliot and Elliot is going to be Elmo's goldfish. And they're going to pull him in, um, I think in a wagon and, oh dear, my phone says, anyway, we'll have to ignore that. Um, they're going to pull him in a wagon and I think he does a forward roll and at the very end of the number he runs out on the stage and stands with his arms and his, look, I'm doing it like you can see me, stands with his arms and his legs out like he's the big star of the show and they've all told him he's the star of the show and he believes it. <clears throat> all that to say, I thought it'd be really fun to do a Sesame Street album for Megan for her to have pictures of Elliot and her and the show and all that sort of thing. So I do have Sesame Street books, but um, this one had nice pictures with Elmo in it. Although I can't seem to find any pictures of the goldfish anywhere. But there's Elmo holding Zoe's hand and there I think somebody's going to be Zoe too. I don't know. They're all going to be somebody. Um so I bought that and that which has nothing to do with this, but I was at the Dollar Tree this morning and I also bought these die-cut shapes. Not that I need them all, but look. Wait for it. Elmo rules. <laughs> Anyway, so I thought I would use that in the album too. Okay. I never show hauls from anywhere else, but there was my one thing from the Dollar Tree. Okay, so back to the thrift store. I found these for a quarter, these little file tabs, and um, they're all the months, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them, but they were beautiful and old, and now they're mine. Ooh. Okay, moving on. We also have Mickey Mouse paper for 25 cents. Again, not that we need Mickey Mouse paper or indeed that we even write letters, but we should because I used to love writing letters when I was a kid. I had all these pen pals and I wrote really long letters. But anyway, so I got this. Maybe maybe I'll just rally and write a letter to somebody. Don't know. Okay, here we have the Civil War theme writing tablet from the Union side. Um, 50 cents and I... That's the same message again. I really don't know why I had to have this, except that it reminded me of Mo from Butterbee Scraps, because when she was here, we went to Gettysburg, which is where they fought like a major battle of the Civil War. Um, and I don't know where these pictures are from, but at any rate, it's just a writing tablet with these faint pictures. That looks like Gettysburg. Anyway, I just thought it was pretty cool and it was 50 cents. And um, now it's mine again. Maybe I'll write Mo a letter. Okay. They didn't have very good trims at all. They've been bad lately, but they did have this, which is delightfully rugged 
looking like it's kind of falling apart, but I liked it. And you can weave a ribbon of some solid color through there. Of course, if you did that, If you did that, you'd have to cover up some of these flowers, but that's okay. It was, or you could just put it behind it and adhere this on top. Anyway, so that was there for 50 cents. Reaching to the bag. Okay, here we have Rick Rack, because he, you know me and Rick Rack. And here we have Lacy Edge Double Fold Bias Trim, because I like the little bloop, bloop, bloop on the end. And look, it's got a, that's supposed to be red, even though it kind of looks orangey pink. Um, all the red tags were 50% off, so it was like 12 and a half cents. Okay, we've got, ooh, stuff I forgot. Okay, so we have these little um, things. What are they, like the frog closures? Here, I'll open one up in case you are unfamiliar with this. See, it goes like this, but then you can take it out. And I thought these might be cute on a little girl album. I've used these on... Actually, I've done like an Asian themed album and I had some and I used them. Um, but anyway, it would have to be on a little album and couldn't make it very fat because it's not very big. But they were there. They were a quarter. Oh, here's some more trims, some eyelet. And this one looks like a lace with some satin ribbon behind it with a quarter. Yes, indeed. There we go. Oh, and here we go. 10 cents for our little heart-shaped um, measuring spoon that says a pinch of patience, which really, I need a lot more than a pinch because I'm not a very patient person, but it was 10 cents and it was cute. And I like things like that. You can dangle them on, dangle them off an album. So here we have the tail of Benjamin Bunny and Benjamin's in pretty bad shape. <laughs> He's falling apart, but it doesn't matter because look, it was 10 cents and it was 50% off. So for a nickel, I have another book that I can chop up and actually make into an album because Beatrix Potter's in the public domain. Oh, happy day. Okay, here we have, okay, here we have, it says it's a chess game, but it looks more like checkers to me. But the reason I got this is because, look, the green ones have a little snowman and the red ones have a little, can you see that? A little, oh dear, a little Santa. There's a Santa in the middle of the red ones. And I thought, wouldn't that be cute on like a kid-oriented Christmas album for flower centers? Yes, it would. They had a whole lot of them, but I just got two. Not like I need to, but anyway. And finally, my last thing. Trixie! I love Trixie Belden. She was my favorite when I was a kid. I read these books all the time. I actually have all of them, but numbers 38 and 39. 48 and 49? 38 and 32. Nine. I think it's 38 and 39 because when they made when those came out I was a teenager like a mid to old mid teenager probably 14 or 15 and I was sort of starting to get out of that so I never bought them and now they're really really rare and every time I look to try to find them they're like 50 60 100 dollars and I'm not going to pay that for a little skinny paperback book but if anybody ever sees any at a thrift store Trixie number 38 and 39 think of me anyway so I have all of these books but they're not the old ones and I have another one as well that's old but I just couldn't resist because look it's Trixie and honey and it's just old and look at the old pictures so I just will have this to have it because I love Trixie oh okay so there we go there is my thrift store extravaganza and all that fun stuff for just about 10 bucks I think it was the most expensive thing I bought was Trixie and she was a dollar fifty um, but I had to have her again, I say. So I hope everyone has a good weekend. I will probably be back later because Monica has told me that she checked the tracking and my birthday box that she sent me, um, says it's here in Harrisburg and will be delivered today. Woo! So exciting. She mailed it on Monday and she's been, um, checking the tracking and then it kind of went off the radar for a couple days and we have to laugh because actually one of the things in the birthday box she bought for me and she lives in California and it, she bought it online and it was delivered to Sacramento. I mean, not delivered, but it was in Sacramento. And then the next day that she checked it, it was in Alaska. What? <laughs> so we laugh. But anyway, it seems to finally have made it to Harrisburg. So I'll probably be back later today. But in the meantime, have a good day. And thanks for watching. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.